You're watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angeline Whitmire. This plant portrait is for Sourwood, Oxydendron Arboreum. Sourwood usually catches a person's eye when it blooms in the summer. This deciduous tree has white blossoms which droop from the ends of branches. Moving closer to a sourwood, we can begin to see the groups of flowers more clearly. They grow at the branch tips in midsummer. Closer still, each inflorescence looks like a spray of white flowers. Initially, the beginnings of white flower buds are arranged along one side of the white stems, as can be seen on this small branch blown from a tree during a rainstorm. The white specks grow larger and start to look more like pointed buds hanging down from the stem. Notice how they grow along just one side of the stem. As the flower opens, it spreads out to reveal an urn-shaped flower, a shape which is typical of a member of the Ericaceae family, the Heath family. After a flower blooms, it drops its urn-like covering. You can find these littering the ground beneath the sourwood tree. The white stems display flowers in various stages of development. The flowers closest to the tree bloom first. Gradually, the flower buds further out along the stem begin to open. So if we look carefully in this photo, we can see flower buds, open urn-shaped flowers, and flowers which have lost their outer covering. Bees love sourwood flowers. And people appreciate the sourwood honey from those bees. The fertilized flowers now look like pale green egg shapes, with the flower style extending outwards from the middle. Notice how they move around the stem so that they now extend upwards, while the flowers had been pointing downwards. Eventually, the style also disappears as the flower becomes a seed capsule. During late summer, the drooping spray of flowers fully transforms to a drooping spray of seed capsules, noticeable in the fall season. These sourwood seed capsules remain on the tree throughout the winter until they become brittle and are blown off the tree during winter storms. As you walk through a forest, you may notice these sprays of seed capsules on the ground. They provide confirmation that a sourwood is nearby. Here are some close-up images of the five-parted seed capsules, which have dried and split open to release their seeds. Although sourwood trees grow in open areas of woods, they also appreciate open disturbed ground, where they seem to take over the barren or weedy spots with dozens of seedlings. They also send up multiple shoots from viable roots which remain after a tree has been cut down. A sourwood seedling shows its unique leaves with finely toothed or hairy margins. Young leaves look almost transparent, a light green with hints of red. Each leaf consists of a petiole and a blade. The blade has an elliptic or lance shape tapering to a point with pinnate venation. A mature sourwood leaf has margins which may be a bit wavy still with those tiny teeth which are visible on close inspection. The underside of the leaf is a paler shade of green. The central vein is prominent. Leaves are arranged alternately along the stem or branch. Sometimes the ends of branches consist of clusters of closely growing together leaves. When you are confident that you are examining a sourwood, then you might chew one of its young leaves. The sour taste you experience explains the tree's common name. Sourwood's leaves are primarily green during the summer. However, they soon begin showing red splotches of color. The change of leaf color begins as early as midsummer, even while sourwood is still blooming. Eventually, all the leaves become a brilliant red or possibly an orange-red color, strikingly visible during the fall months. The fall season is a second time during the year that sourwood grabs our attention. 
Sourwood bark has been defined in Nature Trees of the Southeast as lustrous gray to brown, often with a tinge of red, deeply furrowed on older trees, with interlacing ridges that frequently divide transversely, giving a blocky appearance. A noticeable characteristic of sourwood is the fact that nearly every tree leans. Rarely can you find a mature tree with a straight trunk. This is especially obvious with a dead sourwood. Even the branches look crooked, given their alternate arrangement as they grow from the primary branch or trunk. After leaves drop from the tree, the overall structure becomes more apparent. Young trees look particularly scraggly. The red branches or twigs are the most recent year's growth, as compared to prior year's growth, which is gray or brown. The branches alternate. Winter twig tips look blocky or chunky. They do not have a terminal bud. Leaf buds alternate on the twig and are positioned above the prior year's leaf scar. The lateral bud is insignificant and seems to be submerged into the twig. It may have a somewhat pointed tip. Leaf scars are shaped like a half circle. Each leaf scar has only one bundle scar, marking the location of the leaf's vascular bundle, which is the conductive tissue between the tree's roots and leaves. Sourwood's bundle scar has a crescent or V shape. In the spring, the lateral buds swell with new leaf growth. Soon, the current year's leaves emerge along the branches. And the sourwood progresses through another year of leaves and flowers. This is Angeline. Thank you for watching and learning about Oxydendron arboreum, also known as sourwood. Visit identifythatplant.com for more images of sourwood, for a blog post comparing this tree with another tree during winter, for plant identification resources, and for information about how you can confidently master the skill of correct plant identification.